you everyone for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about some of my finances today, but a couple things I want to talk about real quick. I have lost a little bit of weight. I'm kind of fluctuating a little bit back and forth between having lost uh, one and a half pounds to three pounds. Um, and I mean, that's to be expected because of water weight, things like that. But as I said before, I am just doing clean eating right now, I'm trying to get myself in the habit of just eating healthier foods before I start looking at my macros, my calories, things like that. I am gonna start exercising as well, which I wasn't really last week. And today I'm actually gonna go to nine round. And for those of you that haven't checked nine round out, what I understand, it's kind of a 30 minute kickboxing style exercise circuit. So I'm going there about five o'clock today with Rochelle and her mom. And I'll report back on how that goes. I'm a little worried right now because I have been kind of sick all day. Um, I've had a headache. I've taken a lot of Excedrin and, and been drinking a ton of water. I'm about 75 ounces in right now as of about three o'clock. I've just been working from home today, trying to rest up as much as possible because I'm going to go regardless. So I really hope that I'm feeling better by this point because otherwise I'm not going to have a fun workout and... That's what I'm looking forward to. I, I want to have fun while I do this. Now, to get on to the main topic I'm going to talk about today, finances. So I've been in debt for quite a while. It's not astronomical, but it's pretty significant. Believe it or not, none of that is school loans, which is unfortunate because that would actually make me feel better if it was school loans. Uh, my school loans, thankfully, have been all taken care of and paid off. That wasn't through any work of my own. That was because when one of my grandparents passed away, that money that my parents inherited went towards paying off my student loans as well as helping them pay off lots of things too. My parents have actually been debt free for several years, which has been really awesome. And that's something I would love to achieve because right now, any money that they earn is just building up in that bank account and they can save money so quickly and they can do whatever they want with it. If you've heard of Dave Ramsey, that is somebody that they read a lot of his books, they listen to his talks, and they've been using his program and that's how they got out of their debt. Right now, I'm taking a little bit of a different approach because I have tried his approach before. I feel like even though he says this works for everybody, I don't think that's necessarily the case. But let me talk about how I got into debt in the first place because a lot of it was just being really irresponsible with my money. It was buying things that I couldn't afford and putting it on credit cards. You know, sometimes things like that are semi-necessary. If you're going on like a big vacation or something like that, it gives you peace of mind, I think, putting it on a credit card, a big expense like that, rather than paying for it straight out of your bank account. But I don't know. I, I guess it just depends on the person. However, I wish that I had saved money up and spent less over the long run because I wouldn't be in the situation I was in if I was a little bit more responsible. Aside from some irresponsible spending, a lot of the debt came from my divorce, which in the last video I talked about a couple years ago, I did get a divorce. And the debt may not have accumulated the way you would think from a divorce. We actually did a pretty good job of being really fair with each other and splitting things. Neither of us are having to pay each other for anything. We split the cost of the divorce and all the legal fees really well. It's just because of the situation that we were in before we got divorced and the situation I found myself in after that I accumulated a lot of debt. A lot of it was replacing furniture, we only had one vehicle that we shared, so I had to go out and get another vehicle, which I tried to get the cheapest used car I could get that would last me a while. That ended up being a 2010 Ford Fusion, which I think with tax and everything ended up being about $10,000. That car ended up being somewhat of a lemon because I got it off the lot uh, six months later everything started happening with it. So I've sunk about $3,000 into that for repairs, probably actually more than that. But I mean, I couldn't afford to get something else right after getting that one. It just was not gonna happen. I was also living in a loft that was way more expensive than I really should have been in. So a lot of my money each month was going towards paying rent, which is about $1,200. I also made a big mistake while I was living there, which was, I was living in this place. It's the first time I ever lived in my own place. I've always lived with other people or lived with my ex-wife. I went a little spin crazy decorating the apartment the way I wanted to, replacing furniture because I wanted it all to look nice. I wanted to coordinate. I'm a graphic designer by trade, so th when things don't match, it bothers me a lot and that's not really much of an excuse to spend all that money. It was a dumb idea and I spent all this money I didn't have. Plus, on top of that, because my rent was so much, I was putting everything on credit cards, groceries, all of that stuff. I also got a dog at this time off of Craigslist, 
which I didn't have to spend a lot of money for the dog. I was thinking, hey, this isn't going to be a problem. I paid a hundred bucks for this dog and I loved her. It was a great idea. However, I didn't consider how much money I'd be spending after that for everything else. Food, shots, registration, all that kind of stuff. But I love Ayla to death. She is still one of the best parts of my life. And yes, her name is Ayla. I did name her after the character from Chrono Trigger, if anyone's thinking. So this might be kind of strange because a lot of people don't include their financial situations and things like that. In all honesty, I don't see any issues with me sharing the kind of things I'm going through because I know other people might be going through this stuff. So I want to be very transparent about where I am. So as of a few months ago, I was about $28,000 in debt. I had three credit cards with a large amount of interest. I had an auto loan and I was paying for rent that was really high. So it was very, very hard for me to pay anything off of the situation I was in. I did try the Dave Ramsey thing for a while, which was basically you take whichever one you owe the most on, you pour all of your extra money into that. And then once you eventually pay that off, all of that money plus the minimum that you would have had to have paid anyway is going into the next card. So it basically is a snowball effect, which is how he refers to it. So you're basically accumulating more money that can go towards paying off your debt as you go. Um, but you also keep $500 in your savings account for emergencies. So I thought that would be good for my situation. Ended up not working so well because with my situation, I had too many credit cards that were gaining interest and the minimums were so much each month that I really was getting nowhere. I didn't have a lot of extra money to put towards these things. I am extremely lucky though because my parents who are out of debt were trying to give me a little bit each month to help me get out of my debt faster. However, even with what they were giving me, I just could not get ahead of it. Plus, I really didn't want to take their money. It took them a while to convince me that this would be okay because... I'm one of those people that's really stubborn and I want to do things on my own. So it took me a while to kind of swallow my pride and accept a monetary gift from them to try to help me out. But like I said, it, it wasn't working. So about two months ago, I came up with a plan. I have the Credit Karma app on my phone and I swear this is not any kind of sponsorship. I don't know anyone from Credit Karma and they've never reached out to me. But uh, I just want to talk about how helpful this was because... They throw up these little suggestions and things like a personal loan could help you pay off your debt. And I usually ignored that stuff. I was just checking my credit score. I was checking my accounts. I eventually looked on the personal loan thing and I got more interested. And I read up on it a little bit more. So I took out a personal loan from Goldman Sachs. I applied and was approved the same day. The amount I took out was about $30,000. So it was a little bit more than what I owed in debt. It was set up so that the minimum monthly payment that I would owe was a lot less than all of the other minimum payments I was paying combined. So I got the loan, it showed up in my bank account within three days, and I paid off everything. So not only did it reduce the amount of money I'd have to put out each month and reduce the amount of interest I was accruing, but it made things so much simpler because I'm only looking at one number month to month. And it's so much easier to concentrate on just that one number with everything consolidated. It can get so overwhelming when you have multiple accounts taking out money at different times every month. So another big thing that helped me was moving in with Rochelle. We're now renting a house together and my monthly payment is almost half of what I was paying before. So I have so much more money that can go towards paying off those loans. So before where I was trying to pay about $500 a month on my biggest chunk of debt, and I had all these other little debts that I had to keep paying each month in addition, along with my rent. This past month, I was able to drop $1,200 towards that loan. That is huge for me. I've never been able to put that much money towards something. So the moving situation and consolidating everything into just that one person alone helped me so much. And I got to tell you, that takes so much stress off of me. That was one thing that was really bothering me and, and had me depressed. And I feel so much better knowing that I have one number to concentrate on. So in addition, my credit score, which was kind of teetering around 700, which is still good, but it's really close to not being the best and that could hurt me in the future. It jumped up to 800, which is excellent. So I'm gonna have no problems in the future if I ever have to take out another loan for a new car to replace the crappy one I've got, or if I need to fill out another application for renting and they wanna check my credit history to make sure that you know I'm not a deviant as far as financial situations go, it's super helpful. So that's all I have to say about the financial situation right now. 
I really hope that you guys can take something from this. Maybe it can help you if you're struggling with debt. If you don't think taking out the personal loan to consolidate everything is something that could help you, then I do recommend checking out Dave Ramsey's stuff. Uh, because it has helped a lot of people. It just wasn't right for me at the time. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment because I do want to talk to people and if I can help or if you can help me by offering me advice, I would love to have that exchange. Now I have to go get ready for nine rounds, which I'm a little nervous for, but I'll let you know how that goes. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.